Hello, I'm Pete Brown, and I'm writing a new book about the Fab Four. Hops, barley, yeast and water. The four ingredients that go to make up beer. Beer is the third most popular drink in the world, and yet very few people actually know what goes in to the glass. They don't really know what beer is made of. And that's a shame, because each of those four ingredients has an amazing story behind it and contributes something magical and unique to the finished beer. We start with water. Water makes up 95% of what's in the glass. It's the canvas on which the other ingredients express themselves and create flavour. But it does a lot more than that as well. Water contains salts and minerals. The hard water of Burton-on-Trent is perfect for a crisp, hoppy pale ale, whereas the soft water of Pilsen in the Czech Republic is perfect for a really great soft lager. To water, we add malted barley. This is the building block of beer, where most of the flavour comes from. And malting itself is an incredible process. You take a barley grain and a maltster gently treats it with heat. Now, if it, does it, uh, it gives it a light roasting, we get digestive breakfast cereal flavours. If you roast it a little bit more, you get soft toffee and caramel flavours and red berry fruit. Go the whole way and you get chocolate and coffee flavours. Completely different characters of completely different beers from one humble grain. It's incredible. To water and malt, we had hops. Now, hops are like herbs and spices in cooking. They're the, the seasoning of beer. They give it its aroma, and they really bring out the rest of the flavour. And hops, again, are a miraculous phenomenon. It's a small plant that's related to the stinging nettle and the cannabis plant. It grows differently wherever it's planted in the world. Uh, you can get a nice English hop that gives beer uh, earthy and spicy tones. If you were to plant that hop in, say, the Yakima Valley in the Pacific Northwest of America, you would get citrus notes instead. Finally, yeast is the catalyst that turns those base ingredients into something truly special. It's the invisible microorganism that's in the air all around us, and all yeast wants to do is eat sugar and turn it into alcohol and carbon dioxide. Now, that is a miracle in anyone's language. We've been brewing with yeast for centuries without really understanding it. The first person to really explain it was Louis Pasteur. And when he did so and really understood how yeast worked, it was the foundation of modern microbiology. All he was trying to do was make better beer. I've been writing about beer for over 10 years now, and in that time I've been all around the world to, uh, to hop festivals in the Czech Republic where whole towns go berserk to give thanks to the hop harvest. I've been to maltings in Germany where they smoke the malt over open fires and make beer that tastes like smoky bacon. I've been to breweries in Belgium where they have wild yeast from the air that creates a drink that's sour and cidery and utterly unique. And towns like Burton-on-Trent where the water was so special that it turned a landlocked Midlands town into the most important brewery centre in the world. And this book for me is a chance to bring all those stories together, bring those ingredients together, uh, really go into detail about them and really evoke the magic of what goes into beer.